Alright, the first step in building one of these single pole umbrella style tiki huts is you put this 16 foot pole in the ground. You put it about three foot in the ground, about three and a half foot in the ground. And But what you want to do is just when you put this first arm on, it's a six foot arm, you're going to nail it 10 foot six inches from the ground. We're doing it a little lower right here, but this is going to show you. So he, that'll be 10 foot six inches where he's nailing that. Just one six inch nail right there at the top. That's going to hold that six foot arm out. Now we're going to grab a, an elbow, we call it, which is 39 inches. And it's got a 32 degree angle on both ends, but it's the big fat ones. This is the elbow. It's going to go right underneath. All right, go ahead. It's going to line up on both sides. One six inch nail at the bottom, one six inch nail at the top. And you can see this is flat right here. So they're all flat. Alright, that's the first set. You're going to do this five times and then you're just about done framing this thing. Uh, he's got two on. He's putting the third one on now. Like I said, there's five sets of this arm and elbow. You're going to be doing this from a ladder. We're just cheating a little bit. Next we got this uh, bottom, there's three rails on each piece of pie now left, so there's 15 pieces of wood left. This is the first one we're going to put up, it goes on the bottom, it's 6 foot 3 inches long, and here they're going to put one nail on each side. Alright, and you're going to do this all the way around. You've got five of them. The very last one you're going to have to cut a little bit, but all, the first four are just going to go right on there. They're all six foot three inches long. All four go on the bottom like this. Alright, what we're doing now, we've got all uh, five pieces of pie here built and there's four sections that automatically fit. Each piece automatically fits. Automatically fits. This last section right here is going to sometimes be a little, an inch or two off. Maybe even three inches off, but you just take a tape measure like we're doing here, measure it, cut one end of it, nail it up, and then you're going to go up to the center piece and measure that directly across there. The other pieces will be on. You'll measure that. You know, so there's three pieces you'll have to measure. That's all. Alright, we're going to cut this piece and finish building it. Alright, now what we're doing here is we're going to... There's only ten pieces of wood left. Two on each piece of pie. So we're going to put this piece of wood right there. It's uh, going to be the piece that's about four foot six inches long and you just get it so that it's sitting there in there level so it's even and nail it on does it look level guys looks like joe's got to come down a little bit a little bit right there that looks pretty level up a little bit felipe up a little bit right there looks good it's level so one nail on each end Alright, 
and you're going to nail them in all the way. We're taking this thing back apart so we didn't nail it in all the way, but of course you're nailing it in all the way. Now there's one more piece that's two foot six inches, and it's going to go right up in this piece of pie also. And then you just get it level. Which is right there. Go ahead and nail it. Alright, one nail on each side, and that's the first piece of pie, so we do this three more times, then you'll have four pieces of pie filled up here, and then the last one you'll probably have to cut an inch off or something, you'll measure it. Alright, as you can see here, now we've got all four pieces of pie with three pieces of wood in each one. So now the fifth piece of pie, there's only two more pieces of wood and we're done here framing this. And they usually sometimes have to be cut a little bit. But here's the last pie, that piece is going to fit right in there, it doesn't look like this one has to be cut. So those two more pieces of pie and it's done. Or I mean those two more pieces in this one last fifth pie. And there's that last piece of pie. They're getting ready to nail that last piece in. And now we're ready to put leaves on it. So remember, 16 foot pole, about, you want 10 and a half foot out of the ground to where you start these arms nailed on there. So, and then you're going to have 24 inches above the arms that, that we would cut off here. You know, if we were actually leaving this tiki hut this low. But, uh, Ten and a half foot right where them arms are nailed from the ground and then 24 inches higher than the arms is where the end of the center pole will be the top of the tiki hut so now it's completely framed five sides five arms five elbows five of these bottom row here five of the middle row five of the little ones all right, we'll be back in a second to show you how to put the leaves on. All right, here we are recording again. We're going to put the leaves on, show you how to put the leaves on. This is called a bottom row leaf. It's probably going to be a number three, but the leaves are measured so that each one's the same length, basically. So when you nail these on, they're all going to be level on the bottom row, basically. So Felipe's going to fold it in half, and he's going to nail the first one up. And you always start in the center of whatever piece of pie you want to start in. So go ahead and start in whatever piece of pie right in the middle. All right. All right, then the guy hands you another one, and Felipe folds that one. This is the only row you will fold the leaves, the bottom row. Actually, the very top top also. But the middle rows won't get folded. You got like a two inch gap between the stems here. So he's going to fold another one. And nail it up there with about a two inch gap between stems. And you're going to continue this all the way until you get to a corner. Then you want to pile your leaves on. On the corners you want to put extra leaves. So when we get there we'll show you that. But right in this straightaway here it's the same thing. Fold the leaf. About every two inches between stems, nail it. I'll show you the look you're going to get underneath by doing this. See underneath there, you got a nice clean look. The leaves don't fall through because you've got them folded in half. The leaves are going to hang approximately two foot over this bottom rail here.
time. So you still fold it in half. He's starting right now, he's going to start putting them a little bit closer together because he's getting close to that corner. So he just goes a little bit closer together. That way it gets a little thicker on the corners. how he chopped that stem because all those stems will get chopped on the uh, if you don't have a hatchet you can use tweez you know clippers or a saw just to cut that off but hatchet's the easiest way you can nail All right, we're getting to this corner. That's why he was putting them closer together like that. You're keeping these bottom level down here. If you see it hanging too far, too low, you just move the leaf until it's nice and level down here in the corners. Put one more on there and then we'll do the... See, now he's got the corner pretty much done. Now he's going to put a couple more in the middle area here just to make sure this corner is nice and thick. Again, whoops, right there's about level still, yep. There will be extra nails too, like if the stem splits you could put an extra nail in there. And there will be a few bigger nails too if you have to drive a bigger nail in to make something connect. Let's see how they go around these corners. These leaves he just put on this corner here, these are a little bit smaller leaves so you'll be able to move them up and down. You're going to use your ones on the corners. Now we're back to bottom row. Bottom row will be number threes normally. And number threes are normally four foot long. We measure them all to make sure so that the bottom row stays level. So now we're back on a straightaway. Now he's just going to go about every two inches between stems. You're going to continue this all the way across till the next uh, corner, which you're going to put them on thick again. Just straight away, every two inches between stems, you just nail it. You're folding each one. All right, we're still, we're on the straightaway here still. He's probably less than a foot from the corner. Remember when we get to the corner, we're going to put them on thicker. And I'll show you that again here as we go around the corner. All right. He's still on the straightaway here, so he's putting them two inches apart between the stems. Two inches between the stems. Or a little less, you know. Don't matter. All right, now he's pretty close. He's three or four inches away. He's going to start putting them a little closer. Maybe a half inch or an inch between stems instead of two inches. It's just important to put the leaves thick on the corners because that's where they get the most wear and tear. So if you put them on thick to begin with, you'll be good down the road longer. So those would have been all number threes. He's going to put one more number three on here, one or two, to cover that corner. And the number, lead, number threes, like I said, are four foot long so that the bottom is nice and level. 
And then now he's putting number ones on for the corners. They'll go down a little lower just because you want that bottom to match on the bottom there, pretty much, you know. So now he's just going to fill in maybe four or five number ones here. Probably end up using at least five on the corner, you know. Uh, so that's all the number ones you'll use right there. Now we're back to number threes, which is the bottom row, and he's going to go that whole straight edge again right there. We'll be back in a minute to show you how to thatch the next row. This first row is basically done when we get to the other end. <clears throat> All right, we're assuming now we're done with this bottom row. He's about halfway around it. We're not doing the whole thing since we're just showing you how to do it. But this would be done all the way, all the way through here. All the way until you get all the way where it touches the other leaf. And then from underneath, when you're all done with the whole hut, from underneath you're going to go in and fix it. Because it'll look like this here. You'll have some stuff hanging through like that right there and you just got to fold it back underneath. You'll see it's all folded except for one or two leaves when you get done. Underneath you'll see them. You just tuck them back in. Just tuck them right back in there like that. This is how we do most of the tiki hut right there. He's right up on top of the tiki hut. You can sit, put your feet on the elbows there. But now he's going to do the corners, all five corners first. So he just chops that about three inches from the nail. Nails it right there toward the bottom. And he's going to fill that whole corner in first. Then he's going to do all five corners first. Then he'll come back and do the straightaway. One straight down, one to the left, one to the right, one to the left, one straight down, one to the right. So you're probably going to use like six or seven leaves. one to the left, one straight down the middle, one to the right, one to the left. All right, now he's got the whole corner filled. He's going to go do the next corner. Straight down. And one to the right, one to the left. Straight down, one to the right, one to the left. Just filling these corners in real good so then when you come back and do them straightaways they'll be nice and thick. These things won't leak a drop of water. Alright, now this corner is done. So you're just going to go and do the other three corners. Now you'll have all five corners done. So we're saying right now all five corners are done and he's going to start doing the second row now. And on this second row, just like these short ones that you put in the corners, you do not fold them. You just nail them directly on there. You do not fold them. So these are these middle rows are usually number ones or number twos. So they're smaller leaves. So he's going to nail it right on there. You can pretty much start anywhere. So now he's doing the second row here. All the corners are already done.
remember these ones here you don't fold. The only leaves you really fold in half are the bottom row. When you get to the very top we'll show you you're going to fold both sides just on those last 15 leaves on the top. These here do not get folded. There's one nail in each palm leaf. All right, we're still on the second row right here. He's almost done, and then we're going to show you how to fill in these little pieces of pie up on top. Now you got five little pieces of pie left. Let's assume he's done here with this second row, and now you just got those five little pieces of triangle pies at the top that you have to fill in with number ones. You're going to chop them off also, just like it's just like doing the corners. One going straight down, one to the left, one to the right, one going straight down, one to the left, one to the right. And that's going to fill that all in, those little five pieces of pie. All right, Felipe, do the five pieces of pie now, right here in the middle. It's just like doing the corners. Exactly like doing the corners. You're going to go one down, then one to the right, one to the left. And you want to kind of do all five at the same time. You don't want to go too high on one. Maybe do like three or four leaves on this arm, do three or four leaves on the next arm, do three or four on the next, and then come back and put more on top. Because it's just like shingles. You want to start at the bottom and fill it in and work your way up, just like shingles. So he's already gone and did the other arms, four or five on each arm, you know. And then basically you just work your way all the way to the top like that until that until you can't see any, uh, you know, until the whole pie is filled up. Because you're going to be putting more leaves on top of this pole. This pole right here is going to be cut at 24 inches above them arms. So you're going to have a two foot piece above them arms we call the peak. And on the peak, uh, you're going to put two rows of leaves, about 15 at about a foot high and then the other 15 or so at the very top and then we got this little ring I'm going to show you that goes on top of that two foot peak <laughs> so now he's got everything done here he's got the whole tiki hut done all the little pieces of pie and all that's left is this 24 inch pole right here assume it's cut off right there at 24 inches above them arms now he's going to show you how to do the top. The top, you don't fold these either. You just cut them about four, five, six inches right there from the nail. And you're going to go all the way around. Keep them kind of tight. See, there's there'll probably be like maybe 15 leaves or 14 to 16 leaves total that go around this whole circle here. And these are usually bigger leaves like your fours or fives or whatever you got left over that's bigger. Anything really will work but the bigger leaves are better up here. So he's going all the way around about a foot halfway up this 24 inch center pole. Alright, so one or two more and he'll be all the way around this center pole. Alright, that's good there. Let's assume we're all the way around it. Now we're going to finish the top off. So these leaves get cut about three inches from the stem also. And it goes to the very top of the... The stem will go to the very top of the pole. A little higher. Alright, that's, that's 24 inches up where he's nailing it there plus the stem. Maybe chop the stem a little shorter. Alright, see that's what you want right there, about three inch stem. And then he's going to put these on pretty tight, you know, right next to each other. And they're going to go all the way around the top. Pretty much kind of touching, doesn't have to be exactly touching. You just want to, you know, kind of tight together up there. So we're going all the way around the top. Now see how he's folding both sides of the leaves in just a little bit? That keeps the wind from grabbing a hold and making a bad hair day for you someday. So he's 
basically just folding both sides of this leaf. And these are going to be big leaves. We're using small right now, but these are going to be big leaves. And he's going to go all the way around that pole. And when he gets to the very where they're touching, you got to fold both sides in so it looks neat. And then you just slide this ring over, which is just a round piece of wood that we got nailed together. It forms into a ring and we slide it right over the top of that two foot peak for show but also for the wind not to lift up the leaves it'll go on the very top all right see how that is all the way around that's all the way around now and assume that's cut right where his hand is right now assume that pole's cut off now we're going to slide the ring over the top of it give us a second all right Felipe's up there he's going to put this ring on it remember yours isn't going to have this tall center pole in it it's only going to be a two foot piece above your arms and so that would be cut right where those stems are. He's sliding the ring on it right now when you're done. It's just a ring, you slide it, open it up, get it pushed on there and that's going to keep the wind. It's kind of heavy so it's going to keep the wind from lifting those up but it also is kind of decorative. That's it, uh, Tiki Hut's done and uh, see you soon.